Hi again, my name is Jane Donaldson and I'm going to talk to you today about my new painting La Lune. Um, it's titled La Lune because I love um, words that have like a rhythm or a melodic nature to them. La Lune was the obvious choice because it's so soft and lilting and lyrical. So La Lune it is. One of the things that are, are probably most important to me is the feeling that a painting um, gives out. And um, I wanted this painting to have a real um, feeling of peace and softness to it. And I recently bought some new um, colours which are just, they're just beautiful and I love using them. Um, this this one is a, oh look, I'll show you a couple of them. So when you have these two side by side, there's like a softness and a depth um, and a gentleness to them, but they're kind of intriguing colors. And, um, and look at that one, like this soft lilac, but they're just slightly off what you would expect. And so um, they've been really fun to use. But those colours have helped add to the, um, the dreamlike quality that I was looking for. I always use, well, and most of the time I use Payne's Grey in my painting. It has a really beautiful, dark, inky depth to it. And um, you'll see it up here. And I mix it with um, this mineral blue, which is almost like a turquoise, um, to give a real dark, watery, um, spacey feel. So it's kind of, it creates like a feeling that is both um, calming and sort of snug, like they're encapsulated in their own little environment, but it's also expansive and deep and unknown um, at the same time, which is a contrast that I really like. The colours uh, have that softness and gentleness um, that I really like and lends itself, they lend itself to the story of the painting, which is one of exploration, but a really patient and um, calm exploration of the unknown. So when I think of these two characters, so my donkey and um, the girl, they're, they're connected. You can see they're connected in the line. Um, they're connected in their colour and they're also connected in um, some of the physical attributes that they share and connection is one of the reoccurring themes that I have in my work. I love the idea of um, um, person to person connection and really meaningful connection and then also animals and people as well and so that's something that I keep coming back to. Um, but you can see that um, they both share the same ears and um, the girl has a tail also. And I like the idea that, um, that as they journey together, they become probably more like one another and they come to reflect each other physically as they reflect each other um, in, maybe in their purpose or in their emotional state as well. When you look at the donkey's expression, it's very straightforward and engaging and it's like she's trying to communicate um, with the viewer and, and trying to uh, engage in a conversation, and which is different to the girl's expression. And it seems like her eyes are doing two different things and um, the eyes for me are the, one of the most interesting and most difficult things to paint um, and they seem to do their own things and I learn <laughs> from the expressions that that come up but one eye is looking toward the donkey and that sort of signals the connection I think that outward gaze um, but this eye here it seems to me to be quite introspective and um, I really like that combination of looking outward and then also looking inward and um, how that, the two of those things serve a greater purpose to be able to be reflective 
and then also um, look onward or outward for more information and then taking the two of those things to inform um, both where you are and where you want to go. So, um, yeah, I really liked how those eyes turned out. As usual, there's some symbolism in my artwork and um, these little dots or stripes that are in a lot of my paintings and they're not just a filler, they're actually representative. Um, often they'll be in my mind mm, like little beams of light, flecks of light. Um, and I think about those, all those little pieces of being like um, experience or insight or things that um, sort of distill on us or we collect in our journey and things that inform um, us as we go forward. And, um, and then the donkey has a rainbow and the rainbow is in there because when you're going somewhere it's not, I think you can think, well, they might think they know where they're going. And so they see their beginning and then they see their end. But just like in life, uh, you think you see the end and it's only, um, you know, a part way. The end moves. And so um, I think that their, their journey is one that will be ongoing and moving. The other thing um, that I notice about this painting is the circular nature of the movement within the piece. And I think of the girl and the donkey as sort of moving, well, rolling through their journey, um, not in a straight line, but in a, um, a circular way, but not with complete control because of that, you know, the space that they're in it's a more fluid environment and so it's not like going from one point to another point. Um, they only have a certain amount of control over where they're going, um, but they don't mind. So that's my painting, Laloon. Um, thanks for hanging around and listening to me again. And um, as usual, if you have comments or feedback, please please send me a message or um, get in touch and I'll reply. Thanks again. Bye.